Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jonas Jost and I'm a financial director of uh, Talent Group and I'd like to give you a short overview uh, of the company. Uh, Talent Group is an established company uh, founded more than 30 years ago. It is a leading uh, provider in Europe of leisure and business travel on the sea and in the northern Baltic uh, Sea region. Uh, the company operates a fleet of uh, 15 vessels, which, which we own, and we're uh, offering our services on seven ferry routes uh, in the northern Baltic Sea region. In addition, we operate also four hotels, and in the last uh, couple of years, our business has been uh, severely affected by the COVID pandemic. So when trying to understand the size of the company in figures, then perhaps it's best to look both the numbers of, of pre-pandemic years, uh, so in 2019, and also the latest annual data of 2020. So in, in normal years, we were, we were offering services to nearly 10 million passengers annually, uh, which in, in 2020 uh, dropped to 3.7 million passengers. Uh, we, we carry with the same uh, ferries also roll-on, roll-off uh, cargo units, and uh, this business was not uh, affected that much by the pandemic, and it has been a stable part of the business. So uh, around 380,000, 360,000 units uh, annually. Our revenues pre-pandemic were nearly uh, a billion euros, uh, but uh, during uh, during the pandemic, it has affected us uh, quite uh, significantly, and and the volumes have been uh, down by roughly half, so 443 million euros in 2020. Um, we used to have uh, 7,200 and, and more uh, employees. Uh, the numbers have been uh, greatly reduced and uh, at the end of 2020, it was 4,200. In the balance sheet side, the assets uh, total 1.5 billion euros, mostly uh, the vessels, and also the number of uh, loyalty club members, 2.8 million, uh, has, has remained fairly stable in, in the recent years. We operate under two brands, Tallink and Silenine, and the company is listed both on Nasdaq Tallinn and, and also in Nasdaq Helsinki. And when we we're talking briefly about our business model, then, then we can uh, think about it mainly in, in two distinctive services. One is the shuttle service, which is the fast connection between Tallinn and Helsinki. It takes only two hours with our ferries. And, and the other routes, the longer routes are overnight. Uh, overnight routes take, uh, take more time and are more oriented to, to leisure passengers uh, rather, than, uh, rather than quick transportation from point A to point B. Uh, on, on board all of our vessels, we have uh, extensive uh, shopping opportunities and also catering services. So this is the reason why, why actually uh, half of our revenue is made up by sales in restaurants and shops on board our ships and on land. The same vessels also carry row row cargo which means that uh, also the cargo business is fairly sizable portion of our uh, operations. And in 2020, the share of cargo revenue was 21% uh, in the entire mix. We have also some other smaller operations, uh, as mentioned earlier, hotel services and travel packages. And one vessel is uh, chartered out on long-term charter deal uh, altogether. Uh, other services uh, made up 5% of revenues in 2020. So our core business is, is the shipping operation in the northern Baltic Sea region, which makes up overall in 95% of the, of the revenues. Uh, now, to very briefly mention about the financial details, uh, as mentioned before, prior to pandemic, the revenues were nearly 1 billion euros, but have been halved since the pandemic. Uh, EBJ was uh, 171 million euros or 18% margin. Uh, in the pandemic years, just to understand the, the margins, uh, EBITDA margins have been positive, but uh, the, the results have been supported by um, various government assistance programs, which uh, are represented on the line other operating income. Uh, we used to make uh, about 50 million euros net profit annually. Um, unfortunately, in, in the current times, uh, the results have been negative so far. 
And part of the reason why the results have been negative is, is a tremendous impact on the revenues by pandemic and also the fact that uh, in our business model, a fairly large portion of the expenses are of fixed nature and only the cost of goods uh, is, is of variable nature. So these the fixed costs are marked uh, on the pie chart uh, with a, within the red line. And, and uh, in addition to the cost of goods, uh, the key cost items uh, for us are, are the staff cost and also, uh, also the fuel costs. So in 2020, uh, the way to tackle the uh, fixed cost side has been um, a suspension, temporary suspension of the operations and uh, temporary and permanent uh, layoff of uh, staff, depending on the country where the staff have been employed. And to give a uh, general understanding of, of the dynamics of the season, uh, normally it's a fairly seasonal business, uh, also affected by, by the fact that uh, it's a volume business uh, due to the large portion of fixed costs. So in, uh, in prior to the pandemic years, uh, the Q3, which uh, is uh, July, August, September, has been the key period in terms of earning. It is the main period of holidays. And, and this is providing the largest portion of contribution to the annual earnings. Q1, uh, generally the lowest demand period, which is also the time when we use for the dockings of our ships, which means that uh, more ships are out of operations during the first quarter. Uh, in the pandemic years, uh, there were six loss-making quarters in a row with uh, Q3 in 2021 being the first quarter ending on a positive side. And lastly, uh, about the outlook, obviously the COVID uh, situation has had a negative uh, impact and quite an extensive impact on our business. And, and also uh, it continues to be the main uh, driver of, of the results uh, going forward, but in the opinion of the company and the management, we expect the traffic to recover after, after the situation uh, with the virus improves and uh, the restrictions also remain lifted. We look to, to go back uh, to our previous route structure from April 2022, with the exception of uh, of Romantica, uh, one vessel which used to run on a Riga Stockholm route, which has been chartered out. And, and given an uh, overview of how um, the monthly passenger statistics have changed during the uh, months of, of the pandemic relative to the pre COVID 19 times, then we can see that. Uh, uh, as of late in the in the end of 21 uh, in the autumn months of october and november uh, the the passenger volumes came back quite quite well following the easing of the quite high restriction imposed by finland uh, throughout the first half of 21 so this uh, gives quite uh, quite uh, quite good confidence uh, for us looking forward uh, in in the spring and summer 2022 uh, when uh, we expect the restrictions to be off and the virus situation to be improved quite well if you, if you're interested you can contact us on the email investor at talent.ee or you can visit uh, our investor relations website where you can find uh, the reports and presentations on the company. Thank you very much. Hi there, since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. And that's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and added value content for you. If you're a company and want to find out how we at seat 11 a can make a company video with and about you, please email us at content at seat 11 a.com.